Hello friends, we're already here more of our CK2 on English Neck A Norman Yoke playthrough. In the last episode, we resolved the crusade, the queen returned home to England, decided she wanted to hit the road again. Going on a pilgrimage. Planning to wear it right now. Number of different holy places we could visit on our pilgrimage. All of them are considered most sacred by the Holy Church, but a somewhat closer destination might mean a safer journey. I think I feel comfortable if this queen dies, her son should be okay? His diplomacy is pretty bad. His stewardship is not good either. And it might be an interesting period of transition, but if she dies, it's okay. She's had a good long run. The kingdom has gone well. We've pushed all of our claims, yeah? We claim on Albar Sin, that's far away. We claim on Maine, that's our permanent claim on Maine. Uh, but it's out of our kingdom. All right, so, is it a holy site in the West? Jerusalem Road, Rome, or a saintly burial site? Um, I don't know where saintly burial sites are. I think we found out on the religion panel, is that correct? So the saints are here. Does it say where they're buried? I think they're buried inside these kingdoms. Maybe each. Um, but I think we're going to go to an ancient site, Jerusalem or Rome. Let's see what we find there. Jerusalem and Rome are the two oldest and holiest places of the church. Let's go back to the Holy Land again. There it was before, didn't actually go to Jerusalem, went to the nearby Persia. I probably should have visited Jerusalem or there, but my things are packed, everything in order. At the end of the journey, the Holy Land awaits. Here we go. I left our husband aside uh, behind to be our regents. Unfortunately, he's pretty bad at these things. Pretty bad at having good domain side. Finds rather really pretty bad at having good vassal limit. I, I can't change our regent is now, but... I'm sure we'll be fine. Also, Duke Hamelin has died. Wasn't he someone on our our council? I thought he was, but then we passed him over for somebody else. This old wooden bridge has carried many pilgrims this day. It creaks suspiciously as we step on it. No time to stop, might get wounded. Stop and I'll repair it. People deserve a stone bridge, I'll pay for it. Now let's sit awkwardly on the side of the road while we repair this bridge. Remember we need more cash before we hit the road. Happy to have another load if we need to. But Stone Bridge of the Peasants. We are a good guy, don't you know? We spent the last few days of the journey on water. The vessel traveling on rocks uh, gently in the breeze. As the sailors go about their business, being on board the ship is quite unlike being on land. So much here is different. So many strange words with things. Starboard? Aft? Aground? What does it all mean? All right, fascinating the opportunity to learn. Maybe gain martial? Maybe gain learning? Does not concern me, I'll spend my time in prayer. So, guaranteed piety or potential of learning. Let's try to learn some. So, uh, we're at one martial or one learning. That's uh, from 15 to 16 or 14 to 15, we got the martial. Hey, cool. Uh, the sailors taught us how to fist fight. The queen got in there and uh, knocked the quartermaster's head off. Love it. In the last couple days, I made the company on the road with a holy knight on his way to the same destination. You have lively, interesting conversation and find you have many things in common. Get a new friend. Bring new friends. Hopefully they come back to bite us, we'll see. Jerusalem. You have finally arrived at Jerusalem. Passing by the Mount of Olives, you enter through the city gate and are immediately overcome by the feeling of made a truly epic journey. The city is filled with people of all creeds and colors. The air heavy with smells of strange spices and foreign plants. You make your way through a throng of people and animals, excited by the knowledge that you're now close to the Via Dolorosa and other holy places. You plan also to visit the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem, but first of all, you need to find a place to stay. After all, you wouldn't want to be forced to sleep in a stable, would you? Winky face? Jerusalem, Jerusalem, it is ours. Hopefully the Empire doesn't burn down while the uh, Queen's away. Traveling all the way to see the holy place, you'd hope for more than this. It's a lot of people, some churches and some bones that are pretty suspicious. Before coming, you'd read exalted stories of other pilgrims. This just isn't, is, just isn't like they described it. That's it? That's it? The holy place is nothing? All right, we're now cynical. We all have some doubts about our faith. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You finally return for your pilgrimage. It didn't turn out as expected. Perhaps you shouldn't have gone in the first place. There's no changing it now. At least you're home again. You can start forgetting about it. Oof. Rough pilgrimage outcome. I think you have a much better one than that. I won't tell my family what happened out there. We lose piety, we gain pilgrim. 
gives us permanent piety, and the faith likes us more. Uh, the Regency has ended, the Queen's on the throne again, all the main and vassal problems are fixed. Hooray. Uh, that's, that's not great. That's not great. Uh, let's go ahead and make our boy the regent in the future. Let's go ahead and say the designated regent is now our son. Where is our son? Who is the heir among you all? Uh, I think he's only an earl, unfortunately. There he is. He's not very good, but he'll like being the regent anyway. Good luck, Prince. All right, so I, I said that after we got back from the Crusade and the Pilgrimage, I'd want to write a, a book. We have pretty high learning and pretty high skill also, especially stewardship. Uh, prior kings have written books, and one on human anatomy. So additional books could help us with passing on stewardship to our next king. Unfortunately, there'll be no time for that. Queen Mabel has given up the ghost at the age of 64. She died a natural death. Known as a pious woman, Mabel spent many of her years studying the ancient scriptures and learning all there is to know about God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Next up, King Philbert. Seeing the agents of the devil around every corner, heretics and heathens alike should beware his rule. Long live King Philbert. So be it. And our son, Gerard de Normandy, is now is now the heir. Not sad. I really enjoyed Mabel. She did very well. I had some deep suspicions as she began. I thought we uh, might lose the kingdom over her, but it didn't quite happen. So the treasury all passes on down, and we are now one over appropriate domain size. Um, this is because we inherited our own earldom back again, which I don't recall which one that was, but... We have more than before. I think it's Lidford. I think Lidford was had previously. We want to put our capital back over in Middlesex. Crown focus goes there too. And need to get crowned. Need to get crowned. So we're going to organize coronation. We're going to ask for the Pope to come help us. Come on down, Pope friend. And I'm thinking I'm going to change my focus off of theology over to rulership to maybe hold on to all eight of this domain size. The other thing we can do is do a law change. Um, if we get a high centralization, we get higher domain but lower vassals. And I, I can't do that right now until we take over Scotland and become an empire. So let's move to plus three stewardship. Hopefully that's enough to get us eight of eight domain size. I've inherited human anatomy from Queen Mabel. This is our old book. It's not in good shape. We spend some money for maintenance or throw it away. All right, human anatomy is a book that gives us plus two fertility and health. Um, I think we do want to keep this book because fertility is a big deal. So we'll spend our money to fix that up. Good, good, good. Hopefully the Pope asks for us to uh, be crowned by him is not too appropriate. We'll see. All right, with the uh, shift to rulership focus, we're still one short of our domain size. Um... Is just too bad. Okay. The Pope says he will crown us. We give the church what it's due. 350 money. Alright, we have 328 right now, so we'll take out a loan one more time. And then pay the Pope big money to come crown us. He's on the way. How much money shall we spend on the coronation? 666 money. Sounds like the devil, maybe. All right, so we can't take out any more loans. If we go bankrupt as a king for coronation, that might go pretty poorly. But at the same time, at the same time, maybe it'd be okay. I actually can only afford a private ceremony. Nope, let's go for extra extra extravagance. No, 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 let's be dignified. So the vassals will come visit. The other kings won't come, but we'll only briefly be bankrupt then for, I think, two months time. All right, so some people are declining. Time my coronation draws near. Only a few days before I'm crowned king for everybody. Soon, soon, soon. The many distinguished guests arriving. I want to entertain them, especially the Pope. Um, so we can use our diplomacy to impress the guests. Our diplomacy is only six. Or don't embarrass myself. Yeah, let's not embarrass ourselves. The uh, six in diplomacy, we are less than competent. This morning, a curious visitor came to the court, a wandering scholar who traveled here 
for the coronation. He claimed he's heard tales of a wise and virtuous ruler at me and wants to join the court. I uh, say we have much to share. Uh, gain two learning. Now, learning is not great on the player character, but it's not bad, so good to have that. And I think we're going to make you our doctor right away. So, your uh, learning is 22. How good's our current doctor's learning? We had no current doctor. Humbert, it's you, my friend. You're a scholar, you're a cleric, you are brave and trusting. Hopefully an excellent doctor, we'll see. Uh, one thing I noticed about our change to this king is he's not English. He's Norman. So we're going to have to wait for another another become English pot. No, 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 we actually just directly convert, can't we? I catch myself thinking in English all the time. I govern the people of English, English people of Middlesex. Am I one of them? All right, we're now English. Lose 500 prestige. Not great, but King of England is English once more. Hopefully his family becomes that uh, gradually, especially the boyo, who's now English. Cool. Cool, cool. I nearly paused on cash again. There it goes. Eh, eh. You know, will it? You know, will it happen? I kneel before the Pope, the host of vast surround us. The Pope blesses me and places the crown upon my head. I am now the king. Hooray. We get a positive uh, bonus to vassal opinion. Uh, five from the vassals, ten from the church. Everybody loves the king. Good job. The world, though, is a dangerous place. Somebody wants to kill my son. Do we know who it is? We don't know who it is. I would guess my brother's a likely candidate. Um, not Renolf, though. Renolf actually is a, a Templar, so he can't inherit anything ever, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, who would want to kill our boy? Maybe our bastard son here. Maybe the Earl of Leon wants to go kill our our son. Um, but this is worrying, definitely. Let's go ahead and put our, ki our kid into hiding briefly. And the council's cranky just because we have a new king. A murmur was heard throughout the room when I judged a felon to death. Just sentence may be harsh. Need some prestige. Maybe our justice perk eventually. We'll see. Uh, is our council fully tricked out? It is. We still have two loyalists also, and a very good chancellor. A 20 in chancelling. He is trying to get a claim on part of Scotland still. Yeah, so things continue as they were under the prior queen. The problem with our current king is he has a short reign. It's not going to take too long to get over that. Short reign penalty is... Um... Yeah, it's, it's negative seven right now. Domain too big is the bigger issue. I, I don't want to give away any of our central holdings, but perhaps we should do so. Perhaps that is a necessary concession to the present. The Lidford, as I said before, is the county that we gave to our, our heir to hold on to. It's kind of upgraded, not really as much from our other ones, but to uh, stop the critique of our domain size might be a good way of going. Uh, being put on rulership means we can't do anything else to boost our stewardship. And our wifey has seven stewardship. She's just not great. I think the um, the king chose this queen for himself, and he's just she's just not wonderful at all. Our heir needs a, a marriage partner also. He's only a child, though, so we got some time. Hopefully no one uh, strangles him in his sleep. Have him focus on... Uh, you're going to be king, so rulership, stewardship, stewardship and diplomacy are the big two. We'll do um, stewardship for now, I think. Or duty, perhaps? So conscientiousness gives one stewardship. Rift gives one learning or one stewardship, maybe both. Let's do duty instead to get the um, stewardship perk. Plus one automatically. That'd be good. I have been report that one of the people who've been troubling us for a long time has died. Uh, Duke Thawid. Glad he's gone. Yeah, very weak factions right now. Uh, it seems like it might be a smooth transition between mother and child. I will miss that queen. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a pop-up that says that she is be uh, venerated. Blessed, in fact. But that's how it goes, I guess. Uh, a message from the Countess of Maine wants to marry Faramond. Be right with you, video game. Be right with you. Um, all right, so the Count of the Maine died during the time she was trying to marry one of our our family members. That of cancer at the age of 19. Oh, my goodness. Inherited by her sister, I believe. And her sister at the age of 18. 
He's strong. Brawny, brawny wife here. Yeah, kinsman, married kinsman, all good. All right, this is the uh, message from the Templar trying to... They're buying back uh, one of our favor. We took 300 money from them during a crusade that resolved inconclusively, but they will build a castle in Kent. So Kent is... I should know that right here. Kent is my personal holding. I don't really want to give it away. I can pay them back 300 money instead. We already have the loan taken out. Yeah, I, I think that once the loan is taken out from the Knights Templar, I should just keep their money in my pocket all time. I am going to pay them back directly. And so we are really, really in debt for a little bit. I, I'm sure we'll not have anything horrible happen while we're refilling the treasury. Oh, there are the awful things happening. All right, get that soon. Uh, the Duke of Leinster is apparently leading a plot. If we imprison him, they'll stop it. But I think this might still count as tyranny. He gains his righteous imprisonment. I'm not trying to believe that. I'm not trying to believe that. I'm glad the whole council's on board with us. Council believes in a big way. Um, is he... Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's fabricating this plot here against another vassal, maybe. Yeah, I'm not going to imprison him, though. There's a low chance we have to deal with this uh, peasant uprolled in white. An uprising in white. Not the many dudes. Should we handle this? Uh, unfortunately, our retinue's on the wrong side of the channel right now. So I'll go ahead and just raise all of our personal armies. Oh, with that, though, all of our money's going to go away. Okay, I'm going to let the white folks win for a bet. The right folks win for a bet. As I will just briefly use some boats to move our retinue over. Uh, you all get into boats. Can you not? These need to combined, I think, is the issue. There we go. Now they can hold this. And the retinue will shift. And I'll put all the boats away again. Uh, uprisings during bankruptcy time, not ideal for anybody. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and raise my personal armies. Just for long enough to put on this um, revolt. And I'm going to keep everyone else away. Great. Uh, including you. Oh, our, our king on the battlefield. We definitely don't want that. Maybe for a crusade eventually. Right now, though, absolutely not. And do we need commanders again, or... We've got plenty of commanders still. Uh, you are... Brilliant strategists. Love that. But not about the perk. A uh, Fairmond, our father. No, sorry. Our... Fairmond is our... Um, mother's late-life companion, we'll call it. Uh, he at least has unyielding... And Aethelred here has organizing, so cheaper, uh, easier movement speed, easier retreat. All good, all good. Sign up, and across the boat we go. We have a river crossing here. Actually, straight crossing, but we'll still beat things out of them, no worries. And actually, with this army raid, we're still pulling in huge, huge money each month, which surprises me, but delights me anyway. All right, a victory. The war is over. Put away the troops again. The retinue back in the capital, and continue sitting back waiting for our money to come in a hurry. Uh, presumably, the peasant leader has no money at all. That's correct. Release him. Son of a gun. Um, our excellent chancellor has gotten ourselves an initial claim on Carrick again. Once again, I have no money for it. I can't go 500 money in debt. That, that will lead to real bankruptcy, so we're going to let it go for right now. And then I'm going to move the Chancellor over to another Scottish county. Hopefully gets it quickly, but not too quickly. I was trying to, see to keep a huge amount of money right now on hand, because uh, we're going to be getting more and more claims. They're really expensive. Our Spymaster has died. That was one of our loyalists. Ashamed to have lost him. The most intriguing person around is the Duchess of Meath. He doesn't much care for us, though, so I don't want to do that. Um, just fine for us in the Mayor of Sandwich. A competent schemer. That's good enough, and he'll hopefully not cause problems for us. Now, I see we have a bunch of glory hounds on the council, and that concerns me. That probably means that they're not going to want me attacking Scotland, because Scotland's kind of weak. So, I don't... 
I don't know what's going to happen there. I'm a little concerned. Also, they're not at war. I should have my marshal work on suppressing revolts. Uh, we just missed a revolt that popped before. Yeah, Ireland is revolting. So we'll go and send the marshal out to uh, Loch. What is this? Loch Alien. Hopefully, I can. Uh, they can settle down and stop revolting. All right, nearly good on wealth again. Just one month more, we'll do it. Not to give away one of my holdings or find some way to improve our move our stewardship again. My court position wants me to buy him some laboratory equipment. 72 money. Alright. Alright, back to bankruptcy again. Probably not have any pop-up for being bankrupt this long. Uh, our creditors really believe we have a sufficient enough income to uh, not repossess all of our, our property. We will see. Court position has let me know the equipment was quite helpful. Gained one learning. Excellent. As truly a renowned physician, potentially will be able to actually cure the Black Death. Well, that'd be just great. All right, so we are going to pay back our loan presently here, and then when that's done, we will need to. Um, it's finally happened. Wait, really? So, started to change subjects mid-sentence, but we've had a claim on Vexen. We, as the family of William the Conqueror, had a family on Vexen since literally the beginning of the game. Literally, the year we attacked in 1066, we had a claim here. Now, in 1198, hundreds of years later, the Duke of Normandy has decided it's time to press that claim. I wish you all the luck in the world, my friend. The King of France is kind of weak right now at only 4,000 troops. The French Revolt is much, much stronger. This is a good time to attack. I kind of want to help. We're just now paused on money, though. So I don't know if I'm sure if I should do so. Can I offer to help your war, or is that not possible? Offer to join war. Claim on Vexen. Allow me to join in. Sure. Let's do this. It is a single county war, though, so I'm I'm not sure he actually needs my help. Uh, we'll go ahead and raise our boats, though, and just move the uh, retinue back over there again. So. These two together will do it. Link them up. Or negative on money again. Just need to cross the river. And they'll be fine. And maybe if my uh, if my vassal feels empowered, it's possible that he'll end up uh, seizing more and more land from France. I'd be very glad to start having expanded that way. I do kind of wonder where the French king is. Also kind of wonder where my vassal's going off to now that... Uh, We've joined the war. Oh, maybe with us joining the war, that means that he is not allowed to be in the war anymore. Because uh, his liege has taken over. His liege, namely me, has taken over the battle. Well, that's not great. That's not great. So we have a, a big shooting war now between uh, us and France. Uh, again, good thing the French king is distracted. They can't see it down Middlesex. I gotta wait to have a little bit more money to raise our armies. Uh, but we'll... We're actually now involved in an actual factual war with the French. Before it was just a joking war, I believe. Alright, so reinforce there. And send everyone here to Middlesex to stop the battle. Put these troops away. Have to be a very, very quick win there. Okay. So much comes to you. Um, what? What, 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 what? <laughs> I, I have confusion. Uh, King Philbert has died at the age of 44. He died of poor health, a humble man. He never wanted anyone to make a fuss over his accomplishment. A godly man. Philbert is with God now. We're doing so well. What do you mean, poor health? You, you were a vital young man. Well, he's dead now. Long live the king? Question mark? We'll see how that goes in the next episode. Thanks for watching. The king is dead. Long live the king. See you again real, real soon.